Okay, so we've done, we've done three courses high. Now because each course you go up these blocks step back 25 to 30 mil, if you were to go more than three or four courses high, the wall will start to collapse backwards. So at this point we have to start backfilling uh, with our drainage and we'll go through those, that process now. So when we come to do the drainage, Chris, what materials do we need to do the drainage? Okay, uh, drainage materials are, we're going to start with some geofabric or bitum. It's a, it's a filter fabric that'll stop dirt and fines getting into our, our drainage pipe. Um, we need some ag flow pipe, which is a slotted drain. This is 65 mil. And we need some drainage gravel, which we have here in the wheelbarrow. We have our retaining wall that's gone up about three courses high at this stage. We can't go any higher because the wall will start to fall back and it will collapse. So we cut a, a length of bitum with GF fabric to the length that we require. Now what we want to do, we want to be able to, we want to put our ag pipe is going to go in inside this GF fabric here and then we're going to fill that up with gravel. Looking from side on here, we have our GF fabric that lines the back of the block, it goes under the pipe and it lines the yeah. back of our cut, which is our, our cut ground here. So what we're going to do now, we just level off this drainage gravel. We're then going to fold the GF fabric over the top of that gravel. So that encases the pipe and the gravel, it's all wrapped in this GF fabric. So that's going to filter any dirt that will stop getting into this pipe. Now the pipe, the pipe has a series of slots in it. Now what that does is in this, inside the GF fabric here, it creates its own cavity. So any water that gets down in here will be filtered through the GF fab, through the drainage gravel, which allows that water to flow freely into this pipe. And then you direct the pipe to where you want that water to go. If you're in an area that has a high water flow, you may want to fill the whole of this retainer in between the, the void here with drainage gravel. If it's going to be a garden bed, you may fill up half of the retaining wall with your drainage and then the other half can be filled with soil and mulch to create a garden bed. Okay, so once we've finished our drainage side behind the, uh, the wall, we just peel this bit of geofabric back over like that and we'll continue to put these blocks on. So this is the other half of our block that we had previous. So we'll just lay that one on there. That's the finished height that we're going to do for our retaining wall today. We've gone five courses with the blocks. At this stage, we just peel this geofabric back over the front of the wall. Um, and we get our Stanley knife again. And we just trim off the excess, the excess geofabric that we don't need. And when we get to this stage, we would have filled this retaining wall up with either gravel or soil and mulch for our garden bed. And we just fold that geofab over and just tuck it in behind the top of that block there. So then when you're looking at the, the face of the wall, because it's lined with the geofab, if any dirt or any other foreign matter gets in there, it's not going to filter its way through and, and discolour these blocks. Um, and we have a good drainage solution behind the wall.